tasks or did my homework. When I rubbed it, uh, his belly wakes were often. He would uh, pour and pour in a contentment. When we spent many years together, in good times and bad, and the cat was always uh, uh, hey. I don't, I don't know this one. It's just open the bar. It's cool. yeah. Um, bar and bar. Uh, since then, I have uh, had many other cats and cannot imagine a happy life with that one. Okay. What about in number two? Does this person like pets? Uh, I think in the uh, in number two, the people really like cats because uh, cats become uh, uh, best friends with her, and uh, every time in her life, uh, the cats always beside, and uh, uh, sometimes she feels uh, cats really important, and uh, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, cats so. Really so yes, you are right that this person likes very much about cats. He doesn't like dog, but she likes cats. Now, how did she uh, describe cats? How did she describe cats? Uh, can you repeat? How did she describe cats? Okay, in this uh, answer, it is clear that she likes cats. Now, how did she describe cats? Uh, I think uh, cats are actually very warm, caring creators, capable of great love and companionship for very. their own. Yeah. Yes, that's very good. Yes, that's what she describes about cats. Uh, for her, cats are very warm, caring, caring creatures and capable of great love and companionship for their owners, okay? Now, how did she acquire that cat? How did she acquire that cat? The, um, I think the cat can... Uh, how did she have... How did she got? How did she got the cat? Did she buy the cat? Did she buy or... Someone gave the uh, uh, cat that's a present uh, in her birthday. Okay, so how old was she when she received that cat as birthday present? Uh, nine years old. Okay, she was nine years old, and that cat was a birthday present. Okay, that's very good. Now, number two, why are more and more people becoming pet owners? Okay, please read number one. Yeah, number one. Yeah. Letter A. Uh, is the old part of Western cultural imperialism and status seeking? 30 years ago, almost no one had a pet, cat, or dog, although farmers. Uh, may have uh, had animals around to hunt mice or help with the chores. But the change in attitude came upon us all at once, and soon every affluent young urban family felt uh, the need to allow and right? Fluent. Affluent. Affluent. Fluent. Mm -hmm. It's new wealth. All of, uh, all of a sudden, women with a small lap dogs on the subway become a common sight and well uh, groomed mm -hmm. uh, packs of pink eared uh, poodles began, began to run freely in everywhere. Uh, can you hear me? Well-healed, yeah. Well-healed neighborhood. Well-healed neighborhood. 
Yeah. Okay, so we have here, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Imperialism means take over of one country by another. Like, for example, a certain country is being lead. A country is led by a new person. Okay, that is imperialism. When we say affluent, affluent means rich. Okay, rich. Next, we have here. We have here flawed. Flawed means show with too much pride. And Rome, okay, you move freely and will heal neighborhood. Okay. Now, before or 30 years ago, yeah, before uh, no one had a pet or cat or dog. Although farmers have, have had animals around to hunt mice or food and chores. Okay, long before, long before there were only very few persons who own animals, especially dogs and cats. But this time it became a new wealth for many. Okay, here in the Philippines, having pets having expensive pets has become a new wealth okay as as this time goes on uh, what is this the the view of the people about pets is also increasing long before they don't care about having dogs about having cats but this time it seems that it is uh, what is that having cats or dogs is what is that uh, they treat their cats and dogs as a member of their family so the perspective of having dog and cats has become now uh what is that a concern of many people many individuals okay in this time so that is why people are becoming more pet owners do you see there are there many also people this time uh having pets in vietnam mm, in my country i think uh the people nowadays like own a pet than before because um uh they uh, they feel uh, uh miss the feeling when they take care of their children and yeah. especially with the older woman when the uh their children uh, become uh, adult they really need a pet for uh, take care and that's uh, support uh, uh, many women in society uh, become feel uh, share her love i think so yes you are right you are right this time people are becoming more pet lovers especially yes a woman especially when his child her children is also are all adults okay so they find time, they find enjoyment, they find a happiness in taking care of the pets because somehow pets are easy to train. Okay, they are pets, especially dogs, especially dogs are easy to train, just like uh, little children. Now, number two, uh, please read number two. Uh, people need depend, dependable uh, companionship, especially in the lonely city. Pets feel uh, this need. Families may break up uh, uh, through a divorce or just the process of aging. Kids go off to connect, uh, get married, and move away from home. Old friends are Transfer, transfer uh, elsewhere or gain a new instead interests uh, and uh, I don't know if this word come comrades 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 
bus once pass stays closed forever. Okay. All right. Now, can you tell me the difference between pets and the other people in family member? Uh, can you say that again? Okay. People need people need dependable companionship, especially in the lonely city. You know. Uh, uh, based on the the answer, how dog helps the owner stay happy? How? What is the difference between raising a dog and having kids, having kids, and having friends? What is the difference between having kids and having friends and having pets who will stay forever to the owner who will stay long to the owner are the dogs or the kids or the friends based on this answer Mm, I don't understand the question. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, based on the answer, uh, oh yeah, on this answer, who will stay long? Who will stay? Who will? Okay, if I, I am a, if I am a dog owner, I have a dog, I have kids, I have friends. Now, yeah. based on the answer of this person in letter B, who will stay Close Longer. forever. Yes, yes. Yeah, I think that is the pet because uh, the children can uh, go out uh, from the home and the marriage can become divorced, but the pet always beside me every time. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. You know what? Okay, just think of this example. Okay, we are spending our time with our kids during the younger years in elementary years in high school years but you know what starting college okay starting college when they go to a university especially if we are living far far from the university now the time that our children will study in the university that's the start that they will leave us Okay, maybe at the age of 18, 18 years old, our children will be studying to a university now. If we are living in a city, if we are living far in the university, then at the age of 18 or 19, our kids, our kids here, will go away from us and continue their study in the university, right? Yeah. Yes. Then after, after they finish their study, when they got a job in another place, in another country sometimes, then they will leave us, right? Yes. And another thing, when they get married, Okay, like for example, you are in Vietnam and your daughter marries to a man from America. So probably, probably your daughter, yes, will be leaving or will transfer to America. And then that's an example that people or kids go off or go away from us. Now, if you have friends, of course, just like us, we have, yeah, I know you have many good friends back in high school days, even in the university days. But where are they now? They have gone to many different places because also they married, they got married, they work, yeah, in, a, in another place, in another country. So that means you don't have enough time this time to talk, to communicate, because you are you are also busy with your own family 
okay but according to these people here this person here is but once but one pet stays close forever your kids your old friends may go away from you but your dog your cats will stay forever with you as long as they are still alive right yes yeah so that is the reason of the second person here that why he likes pets because according to her according to her uh pets stays close forever okay what about number here how much do pets cost in your estimation can you read number one letter a uh, of course uh, some of them cost almost a week uh, pay to buy and that's uh, just for starters they still need shots and bedding we have to feed them several times a day and take them to a better uh, veterinarian 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 when they get sick and they live a better, more comfortable lives than we do. It is we uh, who work on their be, uh, behalf, not the, the other way around. So I guess they are the masters and we the servants. <laughs> after all. Oh. <laughs> How do you understand this one? The, the, the person says that, I guess, she guesses that the dogs are the masters and we are the servants after all. How do you, how do, how do you react this one? Is this true? The dogs or the pets are the masters and we are the servants. Is this true? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Now, okay. <laughs> yes, it is quite expensive. Yeah, I like this sentence because somehow it is 50% true. Because you know what? You know what? When I am, um, yeah, I still ha I have a puppy. And you know what? Every time, every day, I spend some time for him. Prepare for his food. Prepare for his water. Prepare for... Oh, uh, yeah, take him to the, the shower. So somehow she he is my master and I am his servant somehow. OK, so. OK, dogs still need shots or vaccination. Yeah, they still also need bedding, meaning to say a good place in which they can sleep well. When we say veterinarian, that means doctor of animals. Yeah. Yes. So when our pets, when the, the dog gets sick, when the cat gets sick, owner should bring them to the doctor, okay, to, to, to give them medicine. And they live better, more comfortable lives than we do. <laughs> it is we who do it is we who work on their behalf not the other way around because yes we keep on preparing foods for our our dog like for the breakfast lunch and dinner but not a single time that we can ask for our dog or oh, you prepare food for me this time i am tired i am tired so this time i want you to prepare my breakfast Okay, we cannot say that to our dog, but it yeah. is we who always prepare for their food. So we cannot ask them to do it for us whenever we feel tired. <laughs> so somehow I agree with the statement that I guess they are the masters and we are their servants after all. <laughs> so this is a cute statement. Okay, so this time, okay, please read number one, letter two, uh, letter B. 
uh, one does not have to spend a lot of money to get a nice pet. Usually, a neighbor's pet uh, has just uh, had puppies or kittens that need a good home. The money spent uh, to take care of them is also. Uh, can you hear me? Some, yeah, care. Okay, okay. The money spent to take care of him, them is also negligible. 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 Uh, leftover kitchen uh, scraps will often to be uh, sufficient, sufficient. Sufficient. And sufficient and healthy too. So for an extremely small, small. investment, uh, we can get a lifetime of love and companionship. Okay. So let's have first, okay. Let's have yeah. first the, the, uh, the uh, difficult ones. <clears throat> okay. For, tight, for starters means as the beginning. There are owners who are starters, meaning to say it is their first time to, to, to raise pets. Now, shot means injection with a needle. Okay, we need to to have our a dog a shot of anti rabies and other other injections. And we also have to the other way around happening in the opposite way just like just like what i have told you we are always preparing foods for our 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 dogs uh, we spend some time to take them to the shower to take a bath but when we feel tired we cannot ask our dog please prepare my food for this morning because i am tired please Take me to the shower because I want to take a bath. So we cannot do it in the other way around. But it's only, it's always we who will do those things for our pets. So that is the other way up around. Happening the opposite way. No, it will never happen the opposite way. The opposite way. Negligible means very little. Very little. There are negligible means, like for example, if you are just, uh, you don't need a big amount of money all the time to have the pets because sometimes your neighbors has many puppies, okay? Because a mother dog, a mother dog is capable of, of giving the owners, like for example, four, four puppies, five puppies, or six puppies, so it depends on the dog. So meaning to say, if your owner has four or five puppies, then you can just ask one. So without, without paying some amount of money, okay? So that means to say negligible, meaning to say very little amount because what you will uh, spend after having that free puppy is that the food, the food. And then you can just, uh, give her extra food just like this one scraps means leftover bits of food like for example we are eating our breakfast okay and then we cannot consume all all the food that we have placed in our plate so that is what we call scraps or leftover so we will give it to our dog right yes yes when we eat, especially, yeah, when we eat, I, you know what, when, when I eat outside, when I eat in the fast food, yeah, like for example, I eat fried chicken. I cannot consume all the one whole piece chicken. So there are scraps, meaning to say leftover, yeah. So I have to ask for a plastic and then I will place the scrap overs, the left, okay, the, the left part of the chicken, and then I will bring it at home and I will give it to my dog. That is an example of scraps or leftover. 
So in raising a dog, it does not mean that you will always buy a kilo of meat, a kilo of fish for your food or for your dog because you can just feed your dog through scraps or leftovers. Next, we have seasoned experience, seasoned owners, pet owners, like seasoned pet owners, like for example, okay, we have this seasoned, seasoned pet owners or starters. When we say seasoned, meaning to say she has been raising pets for a long time. That means she is experienced already. But for starter pet owners, meaning to say this is their first time to raise pets, okay? Yeah. Lutin, a veterinarian, yeah. Veterinarian, someone who is trained to give medical care, okay? So they are doctors for, for animals. Routine means the usual way of doing things. Yeah, just like you. You have a routine to, to learn English every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday at 6 a.m. I mean, 5 a.m. in Vietnam. So that is your routine. Now, in raising a dog, in raising a pet, you will always have also routine, just like uh, preparing for his food, uh, taking him to the shower for a bath, so you have some routines. Kennel, boarding place for pets, especially dogs, yeah. If we have beds, if we have rooms as human in which we will sleep, we will rest, we also have this kennel. It, it could be a small cage, it could be a small place, in which people or pets will have their rest. Okay, that is scanned. Now let's go back to the answer. Okay, please read this one. Ah, leftover kitchen scraps will often be sufficient. Now, there are some pet owners in which uh, they just give leftover kitchen scraps for their dogs, and it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. So, for an extremely small investment, we can get a lifetime of love and companionship. Okay. So, she's telling her that uh, we can spend only a little to our pets because, yeah, we can just give that pet a leftover kitchen scraps. And with that, we can have, we can get a lifetime of love and companionship. So it depends on the owners. If you want to have an expensive bet and then go. But if you don't want to, to spend more money for your pets, and then you can just give the leftover kitchen scraps for your for a dog. No, number four. If you were living on vacation, Oh, okay, please read this one. If you are living on vacation, what would you do with your pets? Would you leave them at home, take them with you, or something else with them? What about number one? Please read. Yes. Letter a. Mm, when I'm going, going away, I always take my cat with me. By now, she's a seasoned, seasoned. seasoned traveler. Uh -huh who is very uh, familiar oh, yeah. with me, with the routine. routine. Little preparation in advance is all that's needed. Making sure that uh, the proper uh, vaccinations. vaccinations are administ administered Minister. yeah, and the correct uh, paperwork filled out, a nice a comfortable pet carrier and uh, sufficient, sufficient food and water to get to the destination. Okay. Do you understand sufficient? Sufficient means enough. Yeah. Okay. Now, 
uh, this person is telling us that whenever he ha he is on a vacation, he always takes his cat. That is why he said that her his cat is an experienced traveler, seasoned. Yeah, we have here seasoned traveler because whenever he goes for a vacation, he always takes his cat with him. Okay. Number two, please read. Uh, if I can't find a neighbor or friend who is willing to help our wire, I'm gone. I just leave my pets at a kennel. 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 That's why I know they are being a properly fit, uh, exercised, and taken, taken care of. And I don't have to worry about them until I get back. Okay, what about you in your case? If you have a pet, what would you like to do when you are on a vacation? What would you like to do with your pet when you are on a vacation? Would you leave them uh, at home or take them with you? <laughs> I think the best way with me uh, is try to ask my friend or labor or try to take care of them when I go out. Yeah. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Same with me. Yes, when I am on a vacation, I would ask a trusted friend or neighbor to take care of my pets in the kennel. Okay. Oh, number five. Do you think people with pets make good friends? Uh, read number 11, first answer. Uh, I hate it's when the neighbor's cat starts uh, howling oh, in yeah. the middle of the night. Uh, the first time I panic, panicked and thought it was an infant uh, in this class. Okay. Uh, but now that I know it's just a, a frustrated cat looking for a one night stand. I just get uh, irritated, irritated because I can't sleep. I wish uh, the neighbor would just put the cat out for the night so both the animal and I could have a good night for once. Okay. What is the problem he encountered? about cats in this answer yeah i think cats always uh holding in the middle of light yes holding means making some noise make yeah. a loud long mournful cry do you do you hear that one uh every time in uh, uh at night i always hear uh, some um loud wild words. uh cats uh holding yeah a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's have first the 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 difficult words. Paul means make a loud, long, mournful cry. Uh one night okay. Play cause of annoyance or noises. Yeah. Plague means cause of annoyance. Annoy means you are mad of the noise. Okay. When you are sleeping so well, and then suddenly a cat howl very loud, then you will get annoyed. You will get mad. Yeah. Uh, Fido, pet dog. Panic, have a sudden strong feeling of fear or worry. Oh yeah. When you are from your deep sleep, and then you are suddenly waking up. Uh, what is yeah, by the loud noise of a cat, you will have a panic. Yeah, you will have a panic of oh, what is that noise all about? What is that very loud noise? So you will have a panic. For once on this occasion, only as an exception, and then excrement. Oh, solid biologically waste. Okay, excrement means, yeah, the waste of the cat every morning. Okay, 
so it it smells bad when a cat not properly i uh, give their excrement okay and here let's go back to the answer all right now according to this boy uh, this person his problem about the cats is that during the night cats make a very loud sound that disrupts his sleeping and you know what according to him the first time he panicked he was Panic means, yeah, worrying or afraid because uh, the howling of the cats is somewhat similar with the infant. Do you, do you know an infant? Um, infant means a baby. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, when he hears first, uh, when he hears the noise, when, yeah. It was her first time to hear the noise of the cats. She thought that it was an infant who cries. Because you know what? When when a cat makes some noise during nighttime, they seem like a baby. Yeah. Who cries? A baby who cries. <laughs> and then later on, it was uh, yeah we. We'll find out, oh, it was a cat. Yeah, I thought it was a baby, but it was a cat. And then, so he just get irritated because he can't sleep. <laughs> so that is why he is wishing that, he wished that the neighbor would just put the cat outside during night so that he and the animals and the other animals could have a good night <laughs> because yeah if the cat will stay inside the house and then in the middle of the night they hold they are making some noise and it irritates him it makes me him bad so he wished that the cat would be placed would be put outside the house during night time so that he can also have a good Slightly. Okay, what about number two? Please read this one, the second answer. Yes. The worst play. The worst place uh, brought on my pet owners is their carelessness in cleaning up after their works. All the streets in my neighborhood are dotted with little uh, mounds of uh, excrement. Fido's uh, smelly calling cards. They are unsightly and hard to keep from uh, stepping on, and they attract uh, flies, which then uh, spread. Uh, there are disease to my house. Really, it wouldn't take uh, more than a few seconds for the owners to take care of the problem, but uh, they seem to uh, pr prefer to uh, pretend uh, that there is no problem. Okay. Now, can you tell me what is the problem of this person about that? Uh, I think that is a disease from the animal. Yes, she said that the streets in their neighborhood are dotted with little moths or excrement. Okay. Excrement is the waste of an animal. Do you, do you know that? The waste of an animal. Every morning, they urinate and they excrete. Okay, the, the, the waste that has bad odor. Okay. So their street is filled with that, 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 yeah, the excrement of the drug. And that is her problem because, yeah, it doesn't smell good. It smells very bad. And of course, it attracts flies. So that is her problem with her, and uh, know, having pets. Okay. 
Number six, do you think that pets are better off than, uh, than some people? Okay, let's have this conversation. Okay. Let's have this conversation. Okay. I, uh, you are the male and I am the female. Okay, let's start. Yeah. Uh, look at that puppy. Oh, how cute. I wish we had one like that. Uh, it's a shame how we treat uh, our pets rather than we treat other people. How can you say that? Uh, well, it's true, isn't it? Just think about how many people are starving or don't have any place to live. And yet, uh, that dog is treated like a royalty. Yes, you are right, but I still wish we had a dog like that. Uh, okay, we'll get one, but I hope we'll treat ours better than that one. It looks happy and well fed to me. You are just complaining about how we treat dogs better than we treat people. Uh, but that's haircut, uh, the diet, hair, and uh, custom. I don't think any self-respecting uh, dog would want to look like that. But it's so cute. Um, that dog would be much better of living in the nature, uh, natural state instead of looking like uh, a clown. I bet his owners love him very much. That's why they dress him like that. This sweater keeps them warm. And he needs to have his hair trim from time to time. What's wrong with that? Uh, what about the blue tail and the pink ears? Dyeing his hair is not any different than dyeing mine to look better. Then you think I look good with my hair done this way? Mm, yes, of course. I like it. Then it's exactly the same thing, isn't it? Uh, okay, you win. But I hope you'll agree that there is still something wrong with the world uh, that spends so much time uh, pampering a puppy and can't even bother beating the minimum needs of uh, its people. Okay, so what is the problem being seen by the male in this conversation? What's the problem? Uh, uh, I think uh, some people uh, don't like pets uh, when they compare the thing a pet can receive from the people uh, with the uh, homeless people, I think so. Yes, it's very good. Yes. Uh, the boy is telling her that here that it is sad to say that uh, some pet owners are giving more time, spending more amount of money just to make the, the dog comfortable. But they failed to, to extend a hand, a help to those people who are in need. Okay, as you can see, uh, do you see beggars? Do you see a uh, person, persons in Vietnam who are asking for help, has asking for some peso, asking for some amount of money? Do you see those kind of people on the streets in Vietnam? Uh, in my country, uh, I think uh, uh, not much people uh, homeless. Yeah. Are homeless. Because they can live in the uh, easy to earn the food in the uh, um, in urban the or in the countryside. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, okay, but here in the Philippines, there are some, there are some few individuals who cannot, who don't have home, who cannot afford to feed themselves with the food. Okay, every day. Now, the problem of the man in this conversation is that he feels bad. When other pet owners are spending more time uh, providing the home, the shelter, and the food, expensive food to the pets, and they do not help those people.
people who are walking on the streets, who don't have, who are homeless, and who were asking some food. So there are some people who don't give uh, a little help to those kind of persons. So that is the problem of the male here. And another issue that he see is. He doesn't like that the, the dog should be colored this way. <laughs> uh, the male is not happy. Okay, the male is not happy looking with this one that a dog should live, should look, uh, what is that? Uh, without hair color, should look better without their hair dye. If you have a pet, would you do this one to this pet or no? Dyeing her his hair or her hair. Uh, no, I never oh. do that. In my pet. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Because yeah, the dog will look better with her natural hair, and that is the male problem about this one. Yeah. Okay. So, all oh, this time we will have our royalty means kings and queens and their families. Royalty means, yeah, those people who are rich, just like kids, queens, okay. Trim means cut as hair so that it looks great, okay. Trim, okay, male will have the trim to trim their hair, males to trim their hair every month, okay. Pumper means take care of someone too well or cuddle, okay, to love, to show up affection. Okay, so do you have a question in issue 25? Uh, no, because I don't have any pet, so I don't care <laughs> about that. <laughs> okay, so let's have next meeting on, what is the, which was the, oh, Sunday, Sunday. Oh, yeah. this is our, our meeting. Oh, this is our topic. This is our topic on Saturday. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you for speaking up your mind about the questions in issue 25. <laughs> thank you for expressing yourself very well, for expressing your thoughts and ideas about the questions. Okay, so thank you so much for today. Have a good day ahead and enjoy, yeah, enjoy your time with your family and of course with your work. See you on Saturday. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much and goodbye. And goodbye.